Hi, I'm Ian Davidson and I'm the director, producer, cameraman and editor of Expect a Miracle. I chose a viral promo brief as it would be an interesting challenge. Discussing the project with friends, we hit upon the idea of the everyday miracles that we forget. The key concept was to use camera movement to show the person and then reveal their miracle. I also created a website to provide background on the stories. I chose to work alone as it allowed me to be flexible around time, especially important with our weather and outdoor locations. A music soundtrack meant there was no dialogue to record. Ten people offered to appear in the film. I couldn't use two of them as they involved people abroad or deceased. Two filming sessions were cancelled due to the weather. I scheduled four people for the third session and had one person in reserve who I used when someone forgot their appointment. I knew all the locations except the stone circle, which I visited in advance to check the problems. I had planned for a zero budget, but I wasn't able to get the look I wanted, so I bought a grading package as one of the presets was close to what I wanted. I used the OU blog system to log my activity, which was useful in producing this film. I used a Canon XM1 in 16-9 ratio, as I needed it in the new home scene to get as much width as possible. Key shots were all tripod mounted, then I tried some handheld shots, such as tracking the front of the house. I couldn't get a smooth tape due to the rough ground, but it was useful to try. The camera manual suggested using AWB for the mode I was using, and this worked well. I did the edit in Final Cut Pro 10. The original concept was for a number of 10 second shots, but testing this before shooting began, I realised the pacing was wrong, so I used longer shots with slower zooms. Finding the music was key, and I spent several hours on Gemendo before finding Voices from the Past by Green D. John. The CC film licence is the same as the music's. 24 hours after posting the film had over 300 views. Three days later, 600 views, and it's still climbing. Based on the fine cut, I have been asked to produce a professional 90 second elevator pitch for a business competition. Lessons I've learned is always have a backup plan, you never know when you're going to need it. Creative Commons movement is a huge asset, I discovered lots of music and sound effects that I never knew existed. And for a bigger project I will need to work with a crew. In conclusion, I thoroughly enjoyed the course and I learned a huge amount from both the material and the other participants. I also developed a more critical eye to the quality of my work and I'm looking forward to my next project. I still have a lot to learn about filmmaking, however T156 has been a giant step in developing my skills. Thank you.